Good morning and welcome back into Morning Moments with Jesus once again. Pray you had a great weekend and ready for another great week that God has made ahead of us. Today we're going to talk about the power of your influence. Have you ever thought much about how much influence you actually have in the world in which God has placed you in? The influence over your family, over situations, over people. You may not think that much about it, but God has given you the ability to have a tremendous influence on the outcome of many things concerning those that that are around you. In Galatians chapter 6, verses 9 and 10, the Word of God says, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due, due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, but especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Everything that you have this morning is a gift from God. God has given you your family. He's given you your health, your ministry, your career, and even your freedom. And God expects us all to be good stewards of everything that He is giving us, including our influence. He wants you to use your influence to help other people. What is influence? I got to looking that up and it's not fame because you can be famous and not have influence. Many people know celebrities, but they don't really care what they think as far as their everyday life. It's also not about wealth. You can't buy influence. Influence is the power to affect how someone or something develops, behaves, or thinks. So God expects you to use that kind of influence for His glory and for the good of other people. How can we do that? Well, first of all, we've got to start by recognizing that we have influence. Everyone has influence. You're likely aware of some of your own influence, maybe in your church or in your home or in your family. Yet you might not be aware of the influence you have outside of that. You influence everyone you come in contact with one way or another. Maybe it's relatives, maybe it's neighbors, maybe it's just a casual acquaintance. That today, when you go into a store, you can make a break, a cashier, or a worker's day just, be, be, just because of what you say or do, how you act or react. You either, either influence people for Christ or you influence them against Christ all the time, and we don't even know that. God calls us to be good stewards of everything that He gives us, including our influence. And until you can clearly see the influence you already have, then you can't begin to maximize your influence. So use it today. Our lives would have much more influence if we'd become more intentional on how we use what God has given us. Influence is kind of like a muscle. The more you use it, the bigger it gets. But if you don't use it, sometimes you'll lose it. So start today by doing just some simple things. Start by smiling at people. Do you know a smile has an incredible impact on the people in your life? When you smile at someone, they usually smile back. That means you've influenced them and affected their day in some small way. Maybe you need to sympathize with people. Show emotional support, encouragement, and care in people's lives. When you show people you care, you open the door to influence them in a powerful and wonderful way. And then begin to try to serve people. As you serve God, the best way to do that is by serving people. God says the greater you serve someone, the greater influence you have on them. Serving people takes effort. Because you can't do that from a distance. You have to get close to people. And then speak up. To influence others, you can't be afraid to talk openly about your relationship with Christ and how He has influenced your life. And a lot of times, yes, that will bring sacrifice. You can't live a comfortable life if you want to have a life of influence. You'll need to make sacrifices to influence the world. While this can mean a huge life-altering sacrifice, it usually means just everyday sacrifices in your normal activity of life in order to influence somebody's life. You may not think you have much influence right now, and maybe you feel your impact is limited. But let me tell you this. That couldn't be further from the truth. If 
you remember the story of Moses, he was an ordinary shepherd on the backside of the desert. But when God told him to give up his staff, his source of identity, his income, and his influence as a shepherd, Moses obeyed him. And throughout the rest of Moses' life, God used that same staff to do miracles like turning water of the Nile into blood, parting the Red Sea. Moses gave what little he had to God so that he could influence the world for the good and for God's glory. And the world was never the same again. So this morning, are you ready to lay down everything and use your influence for God and for the good of other people? Today I speak that blessing over you and I pray that you're safe, that you're strong, and that you're always blessed. But that you understand you do have influence. And what you do, it matters. It may not seem like a big deal to you, but it could literally help change people's lives, the direction of their life, the impact that you make on other people will live long after you leave this earth. So I want you to pray on that today. Think about that today. You have an opportunity to make someone's day better than it would have been had you not been in the world. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, as always, sure pray you have a great day.